this is the GoPro Hero 8 black action camera bundle. So this comes with the action camera. It also, it also contains two rechargeable battery and it has a curved adhesive mount and it has a mounting buckle and a thumb screw. It also comes with a 32 GB um, memory card and this is the GoPro handler you can pretty much use it for every shooting and this comes in handy more for an underwater action so this is the charge cable for the GoPro with a USB so this goes in compatible with any USB adapter so in the GoPro 8 you have the battery compartment here so you just have to pull this in and you see a red indication after you see that just flap it open to open the compartment so you get to charge the GoPro in this slot and you get to insert your memory card here so let's try to power on the GoPro So in the same compartment, you have to insert the memory card facing this way into the slot and then give it a slight push. So just close it and then push it through. So now I'm turning it on. So it's, it would be pretty handy if you could install the GoPro app prior to unbox. So first you need to set up the GoPro, connect to your phone app and try to update your firmware to get the best use of all the latest settings. So I'm selecting the language to be English. So I'm setting the language to be English and so it asks if you want to turn on the GPS I would say no the reason being it consumes more of your battery so here it gives a clear instructions on installing the GoPro app on your phone so I did install the app now I go to my phone app and then try to add a camera. So let us connect the camera, pair the Bluetooth. It's connected, so just save a name for your GoPro. that's it now your blue GoPro is paired to your camera so once you link your GoPro app to your GoPro so it asks for an automatic date and time update so when you select GoPro app So since this is connected to the GoPro app, the time and date updated automatically. So in this GoPro Hero 8, in order to access the main menu, just swipe right. So it has basically three modes, time lapse, video and photo mode. Let's look at it one by one. So when you go to the time lapse mode, you have three presets that are there already. One is the time war, time lapse and night lapse. The time warp is mostly used for moving uh, moving subjects while the time lapse is used for like the stationary scenes. So usually the time lapse photography is used to capture very slow movements to accelerate their progress in the videos. 
such as uh, sunrise or growth of plants um, whereas the time warp is perfect for shooting moving objects so the night lapse is same as the time lapse but it's used for night scenes so uh, in the video mode uh, you can see different icons so the one on the top left indicates the uh, remaining time of the battery and the one in the center it indicates what mode we are in right now if it's a time lapse or if it's a video mode or a photo mode and the, the one on the right indicates the percentage of battery remaining so you can see a snail icon here so this one is a customizable field right now it's set to a slow-mo shortcut but it can be customized to any other with any other widget so the icon below the snail icon here gives a, a lens perspective so there are four settings narrow you have linear you have wide and then you have a super view so you can select uh, any of it based on your um, requirement and uh, you have different presets that are there that are already defined by the GoPro um, I would highly recommend uh, you to uh, go through the GoPro complete user manual where they have defined uh, different video and photo presets for various activities and here you, there is an add-on option where you can uh, keep it as a shortcut and you don't have to uh, mess up with the settings each and every time you take. So again, uh, these presets are in turn editable. You can edit various fields like resolutions, lens, lens type and hypersmooth settings. There are also a couple of Proteon settings that you can refer the manual to set based on the different activity you want to record. So this is pretty much the video and next would be the photo so in the photo mode so the next would be the photo mode again the photo mode has the uh, different icons so this is the timer to pre-time and take photos and again this also has different lens view but this has only three options unlike the video this has a wide linear and narrow and then you also have different um, quality of photos that you can choose super photo HDR raw format and standard uh, use raw format if you are planning to do a post processing of the photo or else you can choose standard for um, to capture photos with subjects or use HDR or super photo option to basically capture scenery or any nature photography and again for the photo there are different presets um, right now there are only four uh, photo live burst burst and then you have the fourth one as night so again each of these presets are editable and you can adjust the different settings by referring the user manual as I mentioned before. So that would complete the photo mode for you guys. So guys, this is the unboxing video for the GoPro Hero 8. Hope you guys enjoyed. Um, let me know in comments um, if you have any questions. Thank you.